What's up? What's up? Welcome to another live training here with the Brand Trainer University, where we're here to help you grow, scale, and automate your fitness business, creating a greater impact not only for yourself, but also within your clients' lives. And, and so today I want to dive into five ways to educate your audience through content and ultimately creating that content that converts and creates those conversations within the DM, if, if it's via email, or if it's on the phone. And so content marketing is not just about talking about yourself. If you guys have stayed up to date with us, we share a lot about value, 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 value. Always leading with value to deliver to your audience. And when it comes to creating content, you want to deliver true, honest value because that is the content that they they want that is what they need. When people go to Instagram and social media, they're looking either to be learn or to be entertained. And so no matter who your audience is, I guarantee you that they want and need information that's going to help them learn and grow and improve in some way, shape, form, or fashion. So if your brand and business is able to provide that level of service and information education-wise, then you will be truly adding a valuable service to your audience. And this can be done through how-to tutorials, tips, breaking myths, teaching relevant information, solution-based information, truth-telling, before and after pictures are really powerful, along with testimonials. And if you can make it entertaining, that is even better. So if you add some humor in, in there, I like to call it some infotainment, then you're definitely going to catch audiences' eyes. It's also going to help you grow as an expert, but also someone that they want to see more of. So... Number one, you want to share that you understand their pain point, their problem, and that you can relate to them. And so people want to learn from those who can understand exactly what they're going through and help them navigate through those issues. And the best way to do that is, and to make yourself more attractive is to help your audience solve those problems via your content. So this is two examples, or these are two examples of Chris and I content that we've shared in the past, where Chris here, you see on the left, she struggled with hormone imbalance, gut issues, weight gain, constantly yo-yo dieting. And she shares how like a cheat meal was, she had this negative psychology and unhealthy relationship with food where she felt like if she ate a carb, she would just blow up. And actually when she ate a carb, she would because there were so many hormonal imbalances. And so she shares that with her audience to let them know like, hey, listen, I understand what you're going through. If you're struggling with hormonal imbalance, if you're struggling with gut issues, if you're struggling with fatigue or you're breaking out, you don't understand why you're constantly yo-yo dying. I understand your pain. I myself personally once used to struggle with drugs and alcohol abuse, and I was an alcoholic. And so in this image here, I share me and what I went through in my journey of recovery to sobriety. sobriety. And that's relatable. Oh, I went through that. I'm struggling with that. And then giving them the solution of how to resolve that pain or problem. So the more you can relate to your audience's pain point, the better that they're going to find trust within you. And you don't have to do this with your personal story. You can also do this with a client story as well. Number two, allow them to learn from your mistakes. So in addition to people wanting to understand like, hey, this is my problem, showing that you've been able to personally overcome similar struggles is really, really powerful. So again, you address the pain in the problem. You now are addressing like the struggle that she went through and the solution of how you resolve that problem. So going back to before and after pictures, which is really powerful to share this, you can also use a client. Both Chris and I have were once heavier, about 40 plus pounds heavier. And we both struggled with the yo-yo diet and the unhealthy relationship with food. And so we share with our audience where we were, what we struggled with, what we went through, and then how we overcame that to the point to where now we have this healthy relationship with food, we have healthier habits, and what that looks like and how our audience can achieve that too. You can also again use a client. I personally used clients before where I had a client, her, her name was Sarah, and she thought she had an unhealthy relationship with food. She thought she should only eat 900 calories a day. She was afraid of carbs. So these, as fitness professionals, we know like carbs are not bad. We know that you need to eat more. 
So sharing her story of where she was not eating carbs, she was restricting her diet, and then she was working out way too much to where we created a plan for her where she started eating more healthier food, she started eating carbs, she started working out better, and she actually achieved her goal weight, and now she has a healthy relationship with food. So these are, again, things that you can share and you want to share consistently with content pieces that are going to be relatable to your audience. So that way, again, problem, solution, go over the struggle, but ultimately they're coming to you for help in an educational way. Number three, help them get to know you. So what I mean by that is you don't want to just always be posting content that's informational or quotes or carousels or just videos of workouts. You want them to get to know the real you, the personal you, and only you are able to deliver that unique point of view that only is relatable to you to help you stand out against your competitors. And this is something that only you can deliver because there's only one you. You're the one who went through those experiences, those life lessons. And so at the end of the day, you are your best value prop. And so this here, these, this is Chris and I sharing our personal life story and a little bit more about us. So we're not just these fitness professionals or we're not just these business coaches. We're more than that. So me, I personally shared my whole pregnancy journey from well before when I was like super fit and athletic to my pregnancy body and transformation and the woes and highs of pregnancy and postpartum. I also share now the work-life balance of working from home, but also being a mom and just enjoying motherhood in general. Chris, you know, she is a, com a competitor. She's working to get her IFBB pro card. So she shares workouts and tips in regards to that. She also loves to skate. She found a new hobby in regards to skating. And it's very therapeutic for her. And this is a little bit more inside about her personality along with just who she is and what brings her life, what brings her energy, what excites her. And these are things that help, again, your audience get to know you and create a personal connection with you. So you're not just this person that they see online, but it's someone they can really relate to and possibly have similar perspectives and philosophies that you have, which means that you're able to attract an audience that you're more likely to convert because you're building that trust with them. Four, you want to teach them an actionable skill. You don't want to just give them things that they can't actually implement right now, today, immediately. The more that you're able to give them actionable skills, the better. So yes, knowledge is valuable. But again, if they're not able to immediately apply it to their life, then there really is no point to that. And so you want to package shareable content that they can use. And again, seeking to educate your audience with tutorials, how-to guides, hacks and tips that are practical. So these are some examples that we have shared, 10 ways to curb your food cravings. These are literally 10 ways that with this list, they can take it and actually apply it to their life. A simple full body workout that you can do at home because of COVID. Um, even if you're not in, in COVID, this is a simple workout you can do at home, which was shared on my IGTV, but also on my YouTube channel, a follow along full video. Then how to calculate your macros and why you're not losing body fat. These are the three reasons. And this is the solution. These videos performed really well and I actually acquired clients from these two videos. And it was a simple breakdown that they were able to implement into their life that day. Chris has shared how to get enough protein. Very simple, real reels are really powerful. If you can compact, com <laughs> compact useful information in the 30 seconds to a minute that they can watch and like digest and do powerful. So the more reels you can create, if you can create a reel a day, not only are you going to be able to reach more people outside of your audience, but you're going to grow as an authority and as an expert. And so here, how to get more protein, benefits of drinking more tea in the morning, and all along with how to do a proper squat. As you know, you know, as fitness professionals, how many clients have come to you and they have no idea how to do a squat. So these are great tips that your audience can use immediately. Again, also freebies and eBooks that are also lead generations, lead genera generation magnets, which we'll talk about in another training. Five, 
learn together. And what I mean by that is, yes, you're an expert in the industry, but you want to share that you're always growing. You're always evolving. You always want to be educating yourself to learn more that you can then now educate and give to your audience. And so this, these are just two posts that Chris and I have shared in regards to us studying to be better ourselves. When we better ourselves again, we better our clients. And so it not only it allows you to expand your knowledge to your audience. And then maybe you can host a Q and a sharing of what you learned and ask questions and deliver insights on what you discovered and how they can implement these new tools and strategies into their day-to-day -day life. So overall to recap, when it comes to ways to educate your audience through your content and create those conversations from and within your engagement on your post to then translating to your DM to then eventually conversions, turning those leads into cells. You want to be able to share content that show, shares that you relate to their pain point and their problem. Share the mistakes and struggles that you made and how you overcame them. Invite them in and introduce yourself, not just you as this ex expert, but you personally. So that way you create that personal connection share actionable steps and items that they can implement immediately and ultimately share that you're always growing and learning. And again, the more you know, the more you can educate your audience. And so I hope you found this training useful. If you yourself or have been struggling with content or maybe you're struggling with sales, we love to invite you to a sales bootcamp that we now have and shows sharing with you how to create that content that converts. It's a sales bootcamp where we walk you through step-by-step -step sales tactics and strategies that you can implement immediately so you can start generating your next 1,000 to 5,000 plus an income. If you have a 10 client goal, if you have a five client goal, now is the time to learn the sales and strategies to actually acquire those goals that you have. So if you haven't applied to the Brand Training University, make sure to do so. I hope that you found this training valuable, useful. Please like, please share, and please subscribe if you're watching us here on YouTube, and we will see you in the next live training.